Hi everyone and welcome to this week's webcast. Today we're going to be doing a combination reading of the Saints and Angels Oracle card deck and yes this is still backwards and the Goddess Guidance Oracle card deck. So I just figured you guys could use a little Goddess Guidance today. Yes. So I've been doing a lot of live readings on my Facebook fan page. So if you guys aren't a part of the interactive forum on Facebook, just go to Connection Beyond and Medium Marissa Pell on Facebook and you will also get access to the live broadcasts where I do readings live and interact with you guys live. But I can't forget about those of you who do like the weekly card readings and I'm going to be doing that for you today. Just let me talk about the energies for just a minute. Um, we are at a very empowering time right now where anything that we've tried to build over the past three years and we weren't able to build, now is the time that things are going to start sprouting. So whatever seeds you've planted are going to start sprouting awesome results. So this is a time of expansion, a time where if you have access to wise knowledge and wisdom that you've been kind of building over the past three years, any sort of spiritual work you've been doing, this is a time where it's going to just expand and you have the ability to go really far. So I just wanted to see what the energies were like with the cards today and see what actually comes up for you. All right, I got to shuffle because, you know, if you don't shuffle, then we can't get the right cards. So let me see which one is starting to glow for me in the beginning. All right, here's an interesting card. I didn't expect to get this card right off the bat. But since you can't read it because it's backwards, which I can't seem to figure out how to fix, it says, don't compromise. All right, what that means is not so much with specific people, situations, or one person, one situation. It means don't compromise your dreams, your values, your goals, because right now it's time to shoot for the stars and go far. Don't compromise and don't settle in terms of your career goals your personal goals, and your dreams. If you have a dream, don't tailor it down, don't water it down, don't compromise what you set out to do three years ago. Because once you set out that, I can't even, don't even see I'm getting so excited, I don't even know what I'm saying. Don't compromise the dream you had three years ago that you've tried to build, it didn't work out, it seemed to have a lot of setbacks, a lot of delays. Now's the time where if you put the work in, the output is going to generate three times the result. Okay, so don't compromise to anyone, anything, or have to explain to anyone why you still want to pursue these goals and dreams because the seeds have been planted and now they're ready to sprout. Okay, now what's interesting is that we talked about don't compromise and now the card is faith. So we talked about the dreams, goals, your, especially your spiritual mission in life and what you feel that you've come, came here as a spirit to do in this lifetime. You know that. At this point, you probably know, you know, this is what I came here to do. Or you have an idea of what makes you feel good, what makes you feel passionate, and what you're drawn to. And it's saying if you don't compromise, have faith because these are big leaps. These are big, these are big changes. These are big risks. Have faith that it's all going to work out. And there you have it. That's the second card. Third card, optimism. We don't want any negative Nellies in our life today. We don't want any people dragging you down, telling you you can't do something, telling you you've you spent enough time trying to make it happen. Your dreams and goals are still there. They're ready to sprout. Don't give up five minutes before the miracle. Okay, that's what people always say. It's, you're probably at the point where you're like, I'm so sick of trying. Keep trying because it's saying with faith and with optimism, anything is possible, okay? Now, if you are standing there saying, oh yes, I'm Miss Positive, and you're posting on Facebook how positive you are and how grateful you are and affirmations and just the universe is great, but inside you're having doubts, inside you're having that negative critical self-talk and you're feeling like you're limiting yourself. You're limiting your thinking. So outside in the world, you're saying, okay, well, if I put out there that I'm optimistic, I can affirm these things, talk about these things. I can put them out there and they will manifest, but you have to pay attention to what your inner voice is saying. Is your inner voice limiting negative, cynical, 
um, is your self-talk about yourself, not even about anybody else, but about yourself, are you putting yourself down inside? Because if you're putting it out to, there to the universe that you want things to happen, but inside you're not really believing it, it can't manifest, okay? So that's, that's, that's the duality, that's the, we can't compromise. Said so don't compromise, we're not compromising. So inside and out, the optimism has to be the whole you. So if you're not feeling optimistic, Try not to put out there to the universe that you're feeling good. If you're not, try to work through those feelings. And then at the end of the day, if you can kind of blend them both and find harmony, then anything is possible and you can achieve those dreams. So I hope that helped you out with this week and I hope to see you guys that aren't a part of my Facebook fan page I do do a lot of interaction on there when we do the live broadcast. I actually do readings. Um, I take people's questions about the other side. I actually answer questions and sometimes spirit does come through. So I hope you enjoyed the readings for this week and I am going to post them and hopefully do a little bit more of them and not wait so long to do another one. All right. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you soon. I almost forgot. I told you guys I would be doing the Goddess Guidance Oracle Card Deck. So I gotta pick a card from there. How could I have forgotten to do this? All right, so let us pick the card. All right, girlfriends and boyfriends, this isn't rocket science. Whatever flows, glows, and then we pick it up. All right, so I don't see any glowing cards, but yes, here it is. Inner wisdom is the goddess card. So it says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So we're talking about those projects. Don't just sit there and wait for the universe to like randomly knock on your door. Take the action that you need to take. I know you've been procrastinating. Take the action. Put pen to paper. Do the things you need to do and take those actions toward the next small step to the big goal. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.